Red Film Radio. I'm Matt Micucci from Venezia 74, and I'm very pleased to be joined by John Branca, who is uh, from the estate of Michael Jackson and Optimum Productions. So thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. So why are you here? You're here because a delightful thing is taking place here in Venice. Uh, the uh, Thriller, uh, the great Michael, you know, Michael Jackson's song, had a fantastic video to go with it that everyone remembers. Everyone's done the dance before, but it's been shown in 3D. So what's the story behind that? <laughs> well, Thriller is the most iconic and been recognized as the most influential video of all time yeah. from the biggest selling album in history. So we were fortunate to get John Landis to convert the video, the original video, into 3D. And to be able to see it in movie theaters is a brand new experience, both th to see it and to hear it in, mu in movie theaters. Right. Uh, where, did, where did this idea come from to make to turn it into uh, the 3D format? Well, it's something we always wanted to do because yeah. the video is so influential. And uh, every year you get crowds of people dancing the Thriller dance. Yeah. So it w we felt it was about time. We've done some other fun things, and we did this uh, really as a tribute to Michael. But, uh, yeah, why do you think, I mean, it, people just keep going back to it? Is it because it was like a new thing when it was first done? Well, I think that Michael was a perfectionist, uh, John Landis was a perfectionist, and this video was revolutionary. Yeah. It changed the way music videos were made forever. Mm. And Michael was really the most influential video artist of all time. I think he was, actually, but I think also he, he wanted to get into cinema. I mean, I've, I've always, I, I always thought that he would have been pretty good at it, too. Absolutely. Michael actually referred to these as short films. He yeah. did not use the expression music video. By all means, it's way more than like a, a music video because there's a whole story to it. And it's actually a fun story. John Landis is coming up to as soon, so we'll, we'll talk about the creative process behind it. But I'm kind of curious, is there any... Uh, uh, first of all, there's a making of documentary that's being screened here, too which is from the time, right? It was made at Correct. the time? Correct. Well, at the time, the, the normal music video cost about $50,000 to make. Uh -huh. And the budget for this was $1.2 million. Holy. <laughs> so in order to fund it, because the record company said, well, we are not going to fund this video. The album is already the biggest album. Yeah. So Michael asked me to come up with a way to fund it, and we came up with the idea of the making of so we created a one-hour program that we were able to sell to Showtime, yeah. to MTV, and for home video yeah. uh, that funded the video and then went on to make a profit. Yeah, I'm not really sure how common they would have been at the time, you know, this type of tactic. It mustn't have been very common, right? It, was it? It, was, it had never been done before. Uh, all right, so it was like a groundbreaking thing in its own right. Correct. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It was a great pleasure, and we'll also, I'm going to tell listeners that we'll be interviewing John Landis in a little bit, uh, but for now, thanks a lot. That's for talking a pleasure to is mine. And this is Red Film Radio, the Festival Insider.